Surrounded by family, fellow soldiers, and friends, more than 40 soldiers were awarded the Expert Field Medical Badge after a grueling two-week testing and evaluation period on Fort Campbell, Kentucky, sponsored by the 101st Airborne Division. Blanchfield Army Community Hospital Commander Colonel Patrick T. Birchfield, who earned his EFMV in 1995, served as the guest speaker and presented the coveted badge to EFMV graduates. Today's the graduation ceremony. We had 42 graduates, which is the highest percentage in the Army under the new EFMB standards so far. It's a two-week uh, process. The first week is a train-up week where everybody is, understands the standard. And on the second week, everyone is graded and tested to the same exacting standard. During the standardization phase, EFMB representatives explain the objective and criteria for each event. Uh, so essentially the candidates uh, get briefed on the test condition standards for all of the tasks that they'll be doing within the lanes. Uh, they get a combat run through of uh, a non-candidate, like a grader will go through, show them how the flow of the lane goes, and then at the very end of the day, which we're at right now, they get a uh, hands-on portion with any of the skills and tasks that they want. Once the grading criteria is established, the testing phase begins. The Expert Field Medical Badge is a special skill award recognizing exceptional competence and outstanding performance by field medical personnel. Candidates demonstrate a high degree of professional skill, stamina, and proficiency that enables a ready medical force. The Expert Field Medical Badge is recognized as the badge of excellence for medical soldiers, a very small percentage of soldiers in the medical field are able to earn this badge. It's a true mark of distinction and excellence.